Dear, are you sure you have invited all your friends for the dinner tonight? I hope you have not missed out anyone. Yes, mother. I made sure to invite everyone. Is everything ready for tonight's dinner? Well, almost ready. It'll be great if you can go to Uncle Bob's farm and get some ground nuts and watermelon from him. He has kept them ready for us. Sure, mother. I'll go right away. I love to visit Uncle Bob. Hello, Uncle Bob. How are you doing? Hello, Amber. I am doing just fine. I have kept your stuff ready. They are one kilogram each. What is a kilogram? Kilogram is a unit used for measuring weight. But do you know what is meant? by the weight of any object mm, no uncle bob no problem i'll explain weight of any object is the measure of its heaviness that means i can find out how heavy i am right that's right amber and you can use a unit like kilogram to express your weight but there can be other units for measuring weight grams is used to express the weight of slightly lighter objects generally these units are written using short forms okay but i have a question uncle you said the ground nuts and the watermelon are 1 kg each how is it that you have given me so many ground nuts but only one watermelon That's a very intelligent question Amber. Let me teach you why it is so. Hey Amber, do you know what that is? No uncle. This is a 1 kg weight. It is used to check the weight of an object. And how is it done uncle? <laughs> We will come to that Amber. Tell me, have you seen this anywhere? Oh yes. I have seen this at the market. The vegetable vendor uses this. Very good, Amber. This is a weighing balance. And these are called as pans. You have to keep a weight on one pan and the object to be measured on the other pan. Now, let's check the weight of the watermelon. So we know that the weight of the watermelon is 1 kg now let's check the weight of the ground nuts oh so these ground nuts weigh 1 kg too yes amber you are correct does that mean all these ground nuts together make 1 kg yes amber you are absolutely right All these ground nuts together weigh 1 kg and this watermelon alone weighs 1 kg. Okay. But do you know why it is so? No, uncle. It's because different objects having the same weight can be of different sizes and shapes. So does that mean bigger the size of an object, more is its weight? Hmm. Not always, Amber. A big balloon is always lighter than a stone, right? <laughs> oh yes, that's right. There is one more way to measure the weight of an object. It is done using other objects. Oh really? Sounds fun. How do we do that? Let me show you a small example. Suppose we have to measure the weight of this pineapple. using these small stones oh so these stones are used as weights right absolutely amber now i'll place the fruit on one scale and start placing the stones on the other oh so 
when do we stop placing them, Uncle? That would be when both the pans are at the same level. Come on, let's start. Okay, now they are of same weight. Exactly. Now let us find out the weight of this pineapple. Count the number of stones in the other pan. There are 10 stones, Uncle. Good job. So the weight of that pineapple is the same as the weight of 10 stones. So we successfully found the weight of the pineapple using the stones. Wow, that was fun. Thanks, Uncle. My pleasure, Amber. Now you better go back home. Your mother will be waiting. Oh yes, I must rush back. Bye. So Amber, I can see you had a nice time at Bob's farm. Oh yes, mother. And as usual, Uncle Bob had a lot of things to teach me. I am feeling a bit hungry, mom. Can you make me one kilogram of milkshake? One kilogram of milkshake? Are you sure you will express amount of milkshake in kilograms? Well, mother, I thought amount is expressed in kilograms or grams. Isn't that so? No, Amber. We have different ways to express amounts of different objects. Oh, then how do we express them? Let us play a game and try to understand this. I'll prepare the milkshake and as I add items to it, you guess the way to measure the quantity of that item. Are you ready? Yes, Mom. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's start. We have to make only one milkshake. So, let me pour one glass of milk from this jug into the mixing bowl. Now, Amber, here's the first question for you. How did I express the amount of milk? I know it! Mom, you used one glass to express the amount of milk. Good! You are absolutely right here. Next, let me add two teaspoons of sugar in the milk. Now, Amber, how did I express the amount of sugar? Mom, that's a simple question. You used two teaspoons to express the amount of sugar. Very good, Amber. Next, let me add a pinch of cinnamon powder and two teaspoons of chocolate powder to this mixture. Here you go. So tell me, how will you express the amount of cinnamon powder and chocolate powder? I know it! I know it! You use the word a pinch to express the amount of cinnamon powder. And you used two teaspoons to express the amount of chocolate powder. Is that right, mother? Perfect answer! Now, here's the last question for you. How will you ask me to make milkshake? Well, mother, I would say, can you make me a glass of milkshake? Correct? <laughs> yes, my son. You are absolutely correct. And here's your milkshake. Hello, friends. It was a fun day for me. There was so much to learn. So, let's quickly go over what we learned today. Kilogram and gram are the basic units of measurement of weight. A kilogram is written as kg. A gram is written as g. Different objects having the same weight can be of different sizes and shapes. Amounts of different objects can be expressed in different ways apart from kilogram or gram. A pinch, a teaspoon, 8 
eight glasses, two onions, half kilogram rice are some of the different ways to express amounts of different objects.